senior biodiversity expert at Fauna and Flora International, Frank Momberg, joins us now live from Berlin. Thanks so much for being with us. It's so exciting, but so, you know, sad at the same time. They've discovered this new species, but it may not survive. First, though, uh, tell us what's special about these monkeys and why, why it took so long to discover them. Good evening. Yeah, it was a real challenge. I mean, the key issue is that this group of uh, gray langurs, gray monkeys with this uh, gray colored fur, it's a really big group of species that occurs across uh, South Asia and Southeast Asia. And we know that big rivers actually separate them. And we assumed that there would be evolution happening in these isolated populations between the rivers. And so there was only uh, a species originally described called the Ferris langur. Um, in Myanmar, actually in the western part of Myanmar, but we knew there would be more species. And then it was actually um, an old skull in the London Natural History Museum with modern science, with DNA analysis uh, underta undertaken by my colleague Christian Rose from the German Primate Center that has actually revealed that there is other species, that there's a new species to science. We have then, um, our field team from Fauna and Flora International has followed up with field surveys, we found uh, three additional populations, so we have four population of this primate, but extremely rare. The total population is only 200 to 250 individuals. So just described, new to science, and already uh, facing extinction. So we really have to take urgent action. Myanmar is, of course, uh, a very poor country, so it needs support for, for additional human resources, additional financial resources to manage its protected area. Um, but also we have, uh, you know, communities around this that, uh, that depend on the forest for their livelihood. So they are hunting uh, the species. So only through alternative livelihood approaches, we can help to, uh, to save this monkey from extinction. Right. So key to uh, boosting the population is to continue managing uh, that protected area they live in. Uh, you notice those big rivers, so so I'm going to ask if uh, if that's part of the protection because I also noticed in a lot of photos from just the general area there are a lot of those common monkeys uh, around. Uh, how much of a threat could they be to the population of these langurs? Uh, not so much because like the macaques you see more common in the agricultural landscapes. Uh, these are monkeys that uh, you know live close to people. This is a very shy monkey. Uh, this uh, langur species, or this popa langur, this new species, they live in remote forests. It's very, very difficult to get close to them. If you get about 100 meters in their proximity, they already run away because they're used to high local hunting pressure and they only stay in the really dense forest. And the challenge is that in the uh, central agricultural landscape of Myanmar, this is in the rice bowl of Myanmar, very close to the famous temples of Bagan, uh, the, uh, the sacred mountain of popa, Everything is agriculture except the small forest fragments where these primates are hanging on. The wildlife sanctuary is quite small. Luckily, we found three more populations, so we need to create also new protected areas for the other populations and improve the management so we can really protect it. But I think the discovery is absolutely exciting also to the local people. It's now an endemic new species to Myanmar, so people can take great national, great local pride. So this will raise the awareness for the species and enhance the chance for its survival. Right. And given you've made this discovery in the year 2020, we have to ask, I mean, what else do you think could be out there? Well, as you know, uh, Myanmar was for a very long time uh, um, a very close country. We only had uh, democratic elections now for the second time. Actually just happened. The election has just been completed. And so it's only been over the last 10 years that there has been international cooperation and in science. Uh, you know, now uh, research is flourishing. Before that, we had decades of a, of a closed country when not much has happened. And, um, and Myanmar still has a lot of forest. For Maine and Southeast Asia, it has the largest rainforest uh, area remaining. So I'm sure there will be many more new species that can be uh, discovered. But discovering a primate is extremely rare. Here you see the famous Mount Popa with the ancient temple. And so um, a new primate species so far has only been discovered once in 10 years. We actually discovered also a primate in Myanmar in the north, another new primate species, the Myanmar snub-nosed monkey. Um, but Myanmar is a hotspot for biodiversity. It's a very important country for conservation. And it's just opening up to international collaboration and uh, with very enthusiastic 
government partners and local people that are interested in engaging in nature conservation. That's good to hear. Frank Momberg, thank you so much uh, for being with us and congratulations again.